This is a, a short video on how to draw frequency polygons. Um, the actual the method of drawing a frequency polygon is very simple. The only um, the only thing is in in the exam. This can come up on a foundation or a higher tier exam. Is knowing that uh, a frequency polygon um, is this this type of graph. So it's being able to recall the method of, of plotting it and why we plot it uh, in a different way to maybe how we would plot um, a bar chart, for example. So in the exam, um, you'll be given a frequency table. Uh, there'll be a context around it, so it'll be a functional um, style question. We've got 50 bags of sweets were opened. The number of sweets in each bag is recorded in the table below. You might be asked to complete this table yourself, or it might already be there for you. Uh, the difference is with frequency polygons is that this data here is group data. So although we know that there were six bags that had between 18 and 22 sweets in, we don't, for example, know whether there were six bags that had 18 sweets in or six bags that had 22 sweets in or a combination of different amounts. Uh, that's unknown to us. So because the actual amounts within the bags are unknown to us, what we do is we plot this frequency of six, this group here, which has a frequency of six, we plot the midpoint of this, um, this group. That's the most important thing, and that's what makes this type of um, representation of data a little bit different to others. So to work out the midpoint, in the exam, I would always write down all the options. Don't do it in your head, because if you make a mistake, you'll lose silly marks for no reason. And again, you're showing the examiner that you're knowing what you, you know what you're doing. So the options are either there were 18 sweets in the bag, 19, 20, 21, or uh, 22. So just like if you were finding the median of a set of data, we're finding the midpoint, which is the same thing. So cross off the high and the low numbers, high and the low numbers. So my midpoint for this group is going to be 20. This one, we've got 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So we can see the midpoint of this one is going to be 25. And now we can obviously see that this one would be 30. The midpoint of this group is 35. The midpoint of this group is 40. But I only know that because I can see that the, the difference in the groups are the same amount. So I can write down 30, 35, 40. If you're unsure, write out all the options and then find the middle value. So going out to my graph, I know that my first data point needs to be a midpoint of 20 and the frequency is 6. So I'm going to draw... A point here. My next group, the frequency is 14, the midpoint is 25. It's there. Um, next one, midpoint is 30, frequency is 16. Uh, frequency 11, midpoint 35. Next one, midpoint is 40, frequency is 3. So that's there. Now please, please don't forget in your exam to then join these up. It's a really common mistake that people just, they plot their points and they just move on to the next question. If it, you're asked to draw a graph, that's not just plotting the points, it's also joining them up. And there is your frequency polygon. And that's it.